Let's see if we can brighten this paint up. Oh, this cow. See if we can wipe some of this crud off of it. See if we can get the original color to come back around. Because I just had O'Reilly to mix me up some <clears throat> paint. And there's quite a bit of confusion on the paint code from 1968, 970. And everything I've read online, it's called dark green poly. But I don't know. Because I don't have a any kind of a data tag or anything. I'm just going off the pictures. So I really want to brighten this original paint up. <clears throat> it's just some lacquer thinner on a rag. And we're not going to water sand it or nothing. We're just going to probably need to water sand it a little bit. We are just going to buff it a little bit. <clears throat> and see what happens. Because I really would like to go back with the green that was originally on the car. Because I kind of like it. I think the green with the black on top would look really good. Probably need a, a wool buffing pad, but we ain't got one, so we ain't. Boy, it don't take much to brighten that old lacquer back up. <clears throat> try real hard but as you can probably see I mean we got a reflection again it went from being dull and rusty like that to shiny well I wish the whole car looked like that now Let's open up our paint that O'Reilly's give us. Well, they didn't give us, but bought one of them. They gave me the other one. Woo! Shaking you around. So the first one's gonna be Chrysler Corporation F8 Dark Green. They done shook it for me. Let's open it up. <clears throat> let's see how close. That looks like it is. This is just a nice and base coat. It's not single stage. And that's probably going to be it, to be honest with you. But we'll open the other one up. That's more than likely probably going to be it. It's a little bit dark, but... Seems like the other one was really light, so let's try it. This one was called Crosser Corporation F8 Jade Green. The other one was Dark Green. Let's just see what it looks like. It looks almost perfect. Yep. That one's too dark. That one right there is really close. Huh. Yep, I'm going to go with it's probably that one. Okay, 
things. Dip her finger in some of the dark green. Try it. Well, I don't know because it could it could really probably go either way, really. Hmm. Which one is it? Just because one looks dark don't may necessarily mean it is dark. Man, I don't know. I guess I need to do a little spray out test and that'll tell us for real. Alright, I got a paint mixed up. No, none of this is bodywork. It's just, it's scuffed up. This is an AMD panel right out of the box. This is just for my O'Reilly's boys. We're going to see how close this paint matches. I'm not going to put no primer down. I'm not going to put no sealer down. Right out of the box. Because if you look at the rocker, see it looks like a dark green. You get up here, and it looks almost like a lime color. I bet it's the other color. I don't know. Right. Well, let's walk around to the color I buffed. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I just, I don't know. Hmm. Just, I don't know. It just looks odd to me. Guess I could put more on it maybe to get darker. If you look at the rocker, see it looks darker than that. That looks like bright green. Okay, so we just put on some Nason F8 Jade Green. And to me, it looks a little bit too light of a color compared to the rocker. So now I think we're going to take and spray some the F8 dark green on here and see if that's any better than this because this to me it just looks too light. 
So this is just for testing purposes. Let's try it. Okay. We are now going to attempt the darker color. It's F8, just dark green. So let's see if it's any better. <clears throat> it might be way too dark. Here we go. Now, go I'm thinking that darker green is probably going to be the ticket. <laughs> we still got some streaks in it. Just where I haven't put two good coats on it yet first, and then we'll put an even color on it. I'll follow with some rust first. Have at least one coat of that on Okay. Try 
I think that's probably it. We will let that tack up and then we'll do a real quick, just like a dusting. Then we'll shoot just a little bit of clear coat on there to see what it looks like. Shiny. Okay, we still recording. Let's do this thing. It's falling over us. That's all we're trying to do. We ain't trying to make it pretty. Got a big old dent right there. That's courtesy of AMD. It's got trash in it. It's got bugs in it. <coughs> but it's a test anyway. So, I believe that is the winner because look at that, look at that, that's close. I believe that's my winner right there. Now let's see how straight these AMD panels look, boys. Oh, man, she's crooked. Looks like Beetlejuice's britches against that door. 
Look at that date right there. Oh, man, we got that. We've got waves and ripples for days, boys. But hey, she's orange peeled. But hell, we we just messing around. Ooh, I wonder what my wheels gonna look like against this paint. Let's mess it all up now. That dirt dust. Oh. What she look like now? Look at that, boys. That right there is gonna be one bad looking ride when it's done. Shoot, I might not even do no body work this car. I might just scotch brush the panels and paint it if it looks that good. I think that color is it though. Well, we did our test. We figured out that the the F8 dark green was the winner. For sure. That other green just looked too limish to me. This is our paint coat. F8 dark green. I think it's called F8 dark green poly or something actually. The F the uh F8J green. It's just too lime looking. So, what have we learned? We've learned that you can't paint next to the big rust pile that came out of the car. We also learned that you can't paint when the sandblast, the sandblasting uh, sand are, is still all in the car. We also learned that you don't need to be painting when it's coming a very windy, windy dust through here. And when there's lots of gnats and bugs, you don't need to be painting. And also, when you got a yellow lab that does nothing but throw her ball at you the whole time you're working, you don't need to be painting. Yep. I love her. But man, she don't ever quit. Another thing we learned is our paint coat is F8 Dark Green. It's got trash and it's orange peeled, but we was not trying on this. This was just a test. I think that's the winner, boys. Them, Summit, or, uh, them Jags wheels sure look good on a 68 Charger. 69 charger. Why do I keep saying 68? 69. She's a 69 now. Hey, and to be a daggum quickie, all I did was scotch bright it and I painted that thing. Yeah, it's got waves and ripples and dents in it, but shoot, I kind of like the waves and ripples and dents. That's a big old dent. Lots of waves. But heck, for not even trying, it looks pretty daggum good. Y'all look here what my dad's come down here and wrote. He's put this piece of tape on here. I wrote this. He put this piece of tape on here. It says, I've seen a time in your life when you when you would fix this top and it would be perfect. Think of Tyson days. Well, the Tyson days is when I was broke and I didn't have any money. And I would fix what I had. I'd make what I had work. Well, this is what I wrote. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he comes in here and he writes notes on our stuff all the time or he used to he's slacking here lately but i can't wait for him to come down here and see this quarter pound and be like dang gum boy keep on trucking <laughs> this song gonna look good i might just leave it like it is oh my but yeah i'm gonna do very little of this car and just paint it it ain't gonna be no show machine but uh fellas Please like the video, share it with all your buddies, whether they're Mopar guys, Mustang guys, Rat Raw guys, it don't matter, just go ahead and share it, please. Help my channel out. I know it ain't the best channel in the world, but I'm trying. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this right here, let me know. We'll keep on dragging this crap in here and fixing it. Please like, share, subscribe, and until uh, next time, guys.